10 to go on the man advantage. Miami doing a good job of moving the puck around on the power play. Coffin over to the near side. The Eichenlob goes near side. He shoots and scores! Ray Eichenlob on the power play. Picks the corner near side, and Mercier tipped it out front. And Miami on the man advantage finally breaks the seal of Joe Fallon and grabs a 1 0 lead. The 30th shot on goal is the charm for Miami. Boy, you've seen the opportunities. Out shooting from a 30 to 18. Eichelob went to the near side, and Mercier, he's got the hot hand. Red Hawks move the puck up ice. Gary Stevens drops it off. Roeder has it at the blue line. Did the shot in? The puck it out front. A shot in score! Team captain Ryan Jones deflects it right out in front. And he gets it by Joe Fallon. And the Red Hawks have a 2 nothing lead. Ryan Jones came right out in front after Kevin Roeder took the shot. And Ryan Jones causes so much havoc out in front of the opponent's net. Does it again. He gets his first of the year and his 60th career goal here at Miami. Vermont has not been able to get anything going at all tonight. Well, Miami's been coming out flying. Their feet are moving. They're playing their systems well. And they're playing very aggressive. Here's Musatelli coming away with it, tries the center one, got a back shot, and a score for Miami! <laughs> Hard work, determination, and all pays off for Musatelli. The Red Hawks take the 1 0 lead. We well, can see here on the replay how his 1, 2, and the third shot finally gets over and falls in. That's the type of goal you're going to have to score in a great goaltender. you got to get it to the net, get rebounds, and hopefully something happens for you. The senior from Macomb, Michigan, observers saying that he played one of the best games they've seen him play last night. He had a team-high seven shots on goal. None of them. Puck out in the neutral zone. Steffes gets a turnover. And alone a shot and a score for Miami! What a play by Gary Steffes! The sophomore from Grand Blank, Michigan has given Miami a 2 to nothing lead. Well, just all around great play by Steffes. Never gave up on the puck. Was able to poke it through the defenseman's legs and go in and, and beat Fallon on a, on a, here's a replay. You see where he pokes it through the legs. Goes in and gets a nice clean shot. Low blocker side. Might have gone through the arms. Outstanding pinpoint accuracy from Gary Steffes. Martinez over to Ganzak. Back to Martinez, over to Canone, Martinez, and they're getting in close. Martinez, a shot to score for Miami! Jones may have gotten a tip on it, power play goal, Red Hawks extend their lead, it's 3-1. Here it is again, you can see Martinez getting a shot from the top of the circle. And who's in front of the net, screening? Ryan Jones, I'm gonna sound like a broken record saying that this year. But that's where he creates so many opportunities just by standing in front of the net, creating a good screen. Now Camper again looking to pass, but boy, really working hard behind the goal. Teams are at full strength, Camper shoots once, they wiggles the shot, and a score for Miami! Tommy Wingles, his first collegiate goal, gives the Red Hawks a 4-1 to one lead. Well, it's just a great all-around play by all the forwards from Miami. Carter Camper is down there below the net, just using his body to protect the puck. You see in the replay here, he turns around, gets a good shot off net. Bad rebound, Wingles is able there, pop it right in the net over the glove. But all start with Carter Camper just battling behind the net, battling and battling, using his body to protect the puck. 